Hello, I'm Core Interesting, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to change the language from the at button and the quotation mark button. As you can see, um, well, if you have this problem at all, then there's going to be a few steps I can show you in this video. And if some of them don't work, just keep watching it until the end. If none of them work, then just post it in the comments below and I'll try and find out a solution for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so first of all, you're going to go ahead and go to your control panel. Uh, by doing that, you can go over here and search in. If you're on Windows 10, if you're on Windows 8, just go up here or somewhere and a search box should pop up. Just press that and type in control panel. Um, what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and press the clock, which is which pretty much shows the language and region. Uh, first of all, <coughs> go ahead and press region. It should come up with this box. If you're trying to get to the British language, it should say a different language here already. If it hasn't, then you're pretty much on the right track already. You just need to change these all to uh, United Kingdom. When the start's done, press OK. Just make sure it's correct. Okay, don't forget this uh, change system location too. There it is. Press uh, restart now, all you need to do is just restart it. While it's in the process of restarting, or before even, uh, just try to remember what the uh, URL of this video is, or just remember something to search in later so you can try and find it. If you could, just before you actually restart, just uh, copy the URL, put it into a Word document or a notepad, and uh, go back to it later. Okay, once you're done that, just check for all of it, make sure it's all the same. Good. Um, next, go to language. And it should look exactly like this, or at least similar, without the override though. Um, it should say only override for me because I had to uh, rechange it just to make sure it looks good. So, pretty much all you need to do first is if you just go up here, advanced settings, change all this to United Kingdom. Save, log off later. Alright, now what you're going to need to do is um, go on the options of United Kingdom, make sure you've downloaded it, and press save. Alright, what you need to do next is if you just go over here to United States, add import method. United Kingdom, add, then remove the US. Okay, then what you need to do is just go over to options again, change override, make sure it's all correct.